I honestly thought that I had more time to prepare. I was wrong. Time doesn't wait for you. Only now do I realize that. Wait, what? That makes no sense. So there was one game jam, one week, and one theme. And the theme was... Diving deeper. I was ready to give the Brackies game jam everything I had, and my mental health shows now. Of course, first I had to get some people to help me with my game, so I got in touch with all my friends. So, actually I did it all alone. Not to worry though, there was a lot of time. That's what I originally thought, at least. I made a list of ideas that could work for the theme. After a bit of consideration, I settled on this. You are an astronaut. And your goal is to explore a volcano on Venus, the planet closest to the sun. You have a gun and a pickaxe that are going to help you in your descent. After a few hours of figuring out the details, I started working on the project. I began with the most fun part, making the movement system. Yay! At least this time it didn't take me 10 hours to implement, only 3. I even added squash and stretch to help it feel more natural. Now look how cute they look. Then I gave them a gun. It was only a matter of time before I made it follow the mouse and shoot. I made it so we can also boost yourself with the recoil of your gun to make the movement a bit more exciting. Now I knew that there was still a lot for me to do. And that's really quite a lot actually. So I continued by making the enemies. The idea was to add three standard enemies and one boss enemy. The first one spins and attacks you up close. That's simple enough. The second jumps out and explodes, damaging everything around it, other enemies included. The last one was slightly more complicated, so I had to make their design cooler. Yeah, that's more like it. This is a ranged enemy. They fly and teleport just so I don't have to do any complicated AI pathfinding stuff. I also added a melee attack for the player. It has a smaller recharge time than the gun, making it more versatile. At this point in time, the enemies were functional. Next step, I decided to do some art. I booted up a sprite to create the player's sprites. I made the astronaut's color scheme more bluish than the environment just so they stand out. It didn't take too long before I was able to add all the art into Unity. Then I decided to do the sound effects. I generated some of them in a SFXR, took some from freesound.org and then combined them adding some effects. With that I already had a bunch of sound effects ready to use. They really added a lot to the feel of the game. I continued by making some art for the enemies. The idea was to make the melee enemy look like a fire spirit. On the other hand, I wanted the ranged enemy to look like a sort of fire imp with a magical barrier around it. Ah, look at the top of his head! <laughs> And that's all of them. Oh, and the mine enemy looks like Diglett. Now, I needed to make the terrain. I didn't really want to place random yellow rectangles because they look odd. So I made some tiles for different rocks. I also added some lava and rocks which you can break. This game needed some variety in its gameplay. That's where the upgrades come in. There are two minerals, pyrite and olivine. That's some fancy names that I know from meticulous research from ChatGPT. 
fire right upgrade your weapons and alvini your armor i think which is which i might have forgotten trying to figure it out is difficult i proceeded to make eight different upgrades with two specials impact shockwave damages everything in your surroundings when jumping and landing Contact freezing, as the name suggests, freezes enemies that come in contact with you, which in turn hurts them. With most of the gimmicks done, I did some level designing. I was really doing my best to be as productive as I possibly could. I eventually had to deal with the music, but I wanted to do it myself. After an hour of struggling, I came up with the main theme for the game. Now, there were three days left and I still had a lot to do. I proceeded by making the main title screen. I also made it so it changes after you defeat the final boss. Next up, I had to design the upgrade menu. I wanted to color code the abilities to make the armor and weapon upgrades stand out. I also added some electric sound effects when you click and hover over them. This made them feel a bit more responsive. By now, I knew that I had to make the boss fight. It was inevitable. And this is it. I mean... Almost. He's almost ready. I only had to make him an AI. Easy enough. Or maybe not. After some stress, a lot of stress, I finished the AI. The way that it works is that there are a bunch of teleport points and three different moves that mimic the three standard enemies. Bury attack. Beam attack. And spike attack. With that out of the way, I had to design the demon king himself. That's what I call him at least. After a while, this is what I got. Probably could have been worse. As you can hear, I also added some music for the boss fight. The game really looked finished by now. After some additional work, I was able to submit the project with a few hours spare. I used them to add sound effects and custom health bar. And that's it. This is Volatile Venture. It has been a very exhausting week. That's the cool thing about not having friends and doing everything alone. By the way, don't actually ask me about the title of the game. I don't understand it either. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you.